Hello everybody, and welcome back to more Let's Play Nino Kuni. Last time, we went to Ara Memoriae and found out where the where, where all the ash came from. Yeah. It came from here. The white witch's <laughs> lair. <laughs> so, let's prepare to head inside. I forgot uh, Cassiopeia's whole plot. She's crazy and just wants to drop man everywhere. Oh, okay, that's good. <laughs> good, good, good. Very easy to understand. <laughs> simple, simple enough. Rest while you have the chance, boy. Well, she was like, wasn't she good when she was younger? And then her dad died. And well, then she, she got taken over. Oh, she, and then the council started plotting. She meant to use the mana to risk. Wow. <laughs> she meant to use the mana to, like, solve all the world's problems. But uh, it turns out that solving everyone's problems means killing everyone. everybody. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Everybody's somewhere else. I thought it was going to immediately start a cutscene. It's all down to you now. Show the White Witch no mercy. Hey. The White Witch. Does she truly wish to destroy this world? She truly wish to destroy this world? All the world will surely die when evil reigneth from the sky. So the ancient prophecy goes. Perhaps it was referring to this ash. But why? Why would the White Witch do such a thing? It's funny that Kulan actually mentions a prophecy, because a, a said prophecy is actually in the Wizard's Companion. What? I think it's actually the last page of the Wizard's Companion. Yeah, here it is. Out of darkness comes light. High above the clouds, the child of white light cast the world into cast the world once more into darkest night. The path unto dawn was never fair. It is one fraught with suffering and despair. Well knoweth she of both their power, entombed there in her ivory tower. Though full many have sought to reach or keep, its walls are too high, its mysteries too deep. Hope springeth yet amidst the flowers. When you find them, you will find her bower. Each time you fear that you have lost your way, hark unto the child, mark what she would say. To your own self be true, all rests upon you. Talking about P? When, when, what is a bower? I don't know what a bower is. <laughs> Actually, I think it's like a, I think it's like a place of uh, like shelter. Hmm. Cassiopeia's in the palace, but she's very unhappy, Oliver. Please help her. Don't worry, P. I will. I'll do whatever it takes, even if I have to kill her. <laughs> you will have to stand over her lifeless body. Okay. Man, Rashad is. So useless. Hey, look, it's Smiley and Surly. Oh my god. <laughs> Trippy Boy Mon, how to do? Eh, what are you two doing by here? Ain't it obvious, Mon? We're preparing for the assault on Shadar Stronghold, ain't it? Uh, eh? Yeah, Mon, you brought loads of weapons of that. Sure has a set of chance. Eh? I'll tell you what, though, Trippy Boy. It wasn't easy finding this castle. <laughs> Took flipping ages, it did. But here we are on the doorstep of destiny at last. You, you mean you spent all the time looking for the Dark Jin's <laughs> castle? Anything <laughs> the great big white forges over by, over by there, is it? That's right, man. We're still what Mom told us to, ain't it? That's insane. Right. Well, I don't know how to break the sea, boys. I really don't. <laughs> but that ain't Jadar's castle. <laughs> eh? Huh? Huh? Hang about, there's more. It's Jadar, you see. Well, to cut a long story short, he's already been dealt with, like... What? No! What? <laughs> no! You've got to be joking, man. We spent our life savings on these weapons. Every last killer! What a flippin' waste! Hey, maybe it wasn't waste. Shadar is gone. We saw a big oh, battle ahead of us. <laughs> Actually, we're kind of in the middle of trying to save the world. <laughs> Should I be able to use the weapons he brought along? You mean? Ah, uh, I see what you were getting at. There's a clever lad. Yeah, that's a proper good idea, that is. And it's always been your dream, and it's Smiley. You know, providing heroes with the tools of their trade and that. Edit though! And there's wow. their shop and iron wyvern. 
<laughs> now that uh, that stand up routine they were doing earlier actually makes sense. <laughs> of course, we're just starting out the weapon business like, so don't go expecting any discounts or nothing. You what? You just want us to pay you? Are you having a flippin' laugh? <laughs> oh, I've had half of mine to stick on the pair of you in a cannon and fire back home. Pay you indeed. All right, well. <laughs> Hello there, sir. We spent a, a tidy while putting this stuff together. Why don't you spend the tidy pile of mining it, eh? What do you got? The hero sword. Whoa. Kiss of death. What? Uh, it just murders them? Yeah, the occasion knocks them out. Crystal spear. This is a physical spear, but it has a bunch of buffs on it. I guess it's pretty useful. It's actually weaker than the other spear we're currently using. Yeah. Ogre King's Axe. 140 attack. Minus 30 defense, minus 50 <laughs> Oh my god. <laughs> Werewolf Claws. Occasionally puts an enemy to sleep. Minus 40 of <laughs> accuracy. These are some special weapons you got here, buddy. Knight's <laughs> Armor deflects damage back onto the attacker. Might be good for Superman. None of them or None of them can use it in our party right now. Yeah, Superman can use it, though. Uh, this one restores some received damage. Okay, interesting. Devil's Mantle. That's a lot of evasion. <laughs> <laughs> Shiny sh Shield. Thanks, Auto Block and More. These are some gimmicky weapons he has here. <laughs> so expensive, too. <laughs> yeah. Nyx Nashers. Can you see Nyx is an enemy? I'm not sure if these fangs are actually stronger than what we currently have either. Not if it seems uh, what about the one that auto kills? Can anyone use that? <laughs> no. Oh, Kohaku can use it. Yeah, but can he? She needs more attack than that. <laughs> he needs more attack than that. I feel like Kohaku would probably be would probably benefit from just being able to like occasionally just one shot, occasionally critical hit in dark dark cloud lore. <laughs> Good day, sir. Oh. Oh. Okay. Good day, sir. Might I interest you in one of some of our flagship products? Speak to my colleague Smiley there if anything takes you or fancy. <coughs> so Marcus didn't tell you about the new aircraft from Hamlin, the Sky Squealers. I had no idea they were working on things like that. I made it my business to know everything that went on in that town. I don't know. <laughs> Drippy, am I ready? <laughs> <laughs> it's time for the final battle, Oliver. Let's jump on Tangri's back and head for the Ivory Tower. <laughs> what do they call this thing? The Iron Wyvern, was it? One has never seen such an impressive collection of cannons before. And a lot of them will be under one's command during the coming assault. Let's give that white witch what for. Something's <laughs> about to cry. <laughs> the man was a feral cat game. It's the hardest fight in the game. Good morning. It would seem the time has finally come. Alma Moon's Cloud Sweeper Squadron is at your service. Our pilot's talents are well world renowned. They shall not disappoint you. Bring that scene from like Harry Potter 7, Part 1. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go! Not gonna lie. Kind of scared. Are you daunted? Do you want to turn around and see daunted. if there are side quests? <laughs> oh my god. Sure, we can take a look. Why not? Yeah, I'm down for a filler arc right before the last arc. It's like at uh, the end of, I think, the original Naruto, where like, it was just training for like 80 episodes. Actually, they, 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 actually was that a starship? No, it was actually the end of Naruto. It was like after the tuning exam. Well, I, I mean, think. I'm pretty sure a lot of stuff happened after the tuning exam. <laughs> <laughs> tuning exam was like fairly close to the start, I figured. That's the beginning exam. No, that was tuning exam. When they're running around the forest? Yeah, that was tuning exam. I thought tuning exam was when they were all fighting uh, they started in the tournament. Getting... Yeah, that was the second part of the tuning exam. Oh. <laughs> oh, there actually are more of these. Works for me, I guess. Oh, wow. Now yeah, I said, we, oh, we need that ear splitter. Now, I said we'd be going into the ivory tower. 
but Quest said no. A mysterious beast has been spreading poison across the spindle. Stop it before it gets to Hamlin. Okay. A team of researchers investigating the Ara Ar Ar Memoria have come under attack. Deal with their assailant. An exceptionally dangerous beast has taken up residence on Scrooge Island. Is that one brave enough to take it on? Your sweater is an AoE physical attack? Yep. Oh my god. Yeah, we gotta get some of these. One new quest. A man visiting Castle Cove has lost something important. Okay. A couple's store fell apart. <laughs> Luckily, that hasn't happened. As far as we know, I guess that could have been them. A crazy scientist wants you to capture four fans. But he's not gonna tell you what they are. They always give us pretty good hints. Yeah, these stores are here, I think I've not opened up the shop yet. Yeah, I mean, they're cooked, bro. Okay. Well, let's get to work. Our first stop shall be the procrastinator. Ah, that's very familiar. <laughs> okay, we'll start with the spindle, which means we have to head to Hamelin. Once Prawn metamorphoses, they gotta catch a vibe, see if it learns a uh, healing rain or not. <laughs> what is Prawn's level anyway? 29. Prawn's probably, close. Probably pretty close, yeah. Right, I'm well familiar with where the spindle is. Are you? Yes. It's Man. right here. This is where Jade Marbles are. I think I got daunted for no reason. <laughs> well, you know me. Got to make sure we're Sucker. fully prepared yeah. for this fight. Sucker for a filler arc. I mean, Ear Splitter is kind of a game changer. Not gonna lie. I'm trying to imagine that on Toru. Where is that? Or... I actually don't know who our best physical attacker is. I mean, if you're looking for the most damage... Where am probably, I? You, you probably want to go for, like... Oh, you, you, want, you want to get the highest attacker, right? Yeah. Oh, there he is. You think it's, uh, Durian? Wait, is that a Toko? No, it's not. 311? That is pretty high. Oh, it is Durian. Check that out. A most unexpected... ...hero. Uh, wait, Drain's higher than Toru? Yep. Wow. Has worse accuracy, though. But that wouldn't, that wouldn't affect your slayer at all. No, it wouldn't. But Drain might not be in the final dungeon. It's time to take on the Smoggy <laughs> Fog. <laughs> That's kind of a wild name. <laughs> we can do this! It also looks kind of wild. Wild and crazy, am I right? Looks kind of wet and wild. <laughs> hey, imagine, Ko imagine Kohaku just straight up one shots this thing. He's definitely not gonna do that. Ew. Oh, you just dropped our attack. Luckily, it was just Toru, apparently. I shall distract them. Oh, that'd be run around circles. <laughs> <laughs> Why does it only have two tricks? <laughs> That's all she can hold. What can I say? It's a gift. <laughs> <laughs> Superman is rolling in his grave right now. <laughs> Dodge threats. <laughs> <laughs> it just literally can't catch us. Oh! Nice. Still here. Wait, what? Luckily, we don't need no stinking attack. Yeah, it's true, we don't. Watch it all, Fug. I shall have an orange injury <laughs> with one damage. Ow. 
Was that a crit? Yeah, he crit me. I would have figured we had this settled by now, honestly. Well, you like intentionally threw it at the end by uh, swapping out pumpkin for Kaku. <laughs> well, I had to swap out pumpkin. Oh, I guess breaking. pumpkin was getting tired. Yeah. There we go. I guess Kohaku can use some magic too. Easily done. I thought everyone else would have killed it like soon after I started doing that too. Bounty are complete. Cool. Next stop. Save the researchers in Aura Memoria. Okay. But first, let's go to the Iron Wyvern. Iron Wyvern probably has like the best healing spot in the game. Because it's free and very easy to access because it's like five steps away from where you start. <laughs> Bit of an exaggeration, clearly. But very close anyway. All right. Off to our memoria. There it is. Also, I think we have to head into our memoria anyway. Oh, I see you're blocking our way. <laughs> Not really, though, but you know. Who the heck is this? Why, this is the Doric Column. Okay. Very tanky, I presume. I presume the same. Sorry, resistant to physical. <laughs> Your arms got decked. <laughs> oh, Durian creep blocking? Weak to storm. Also weak to storm. Oh, storm, wind and electric are the same. Yes. So we gotta get Aaron getting active. <laughs> oh, well, I was going to do that. <laughs> Doesn't what? Kohaku know some storm spells? Kohaku doesn't know any. At least I mean, we didn't give her any. How much damage does this actually do? But you're obsessed with Warren Star, bro. I love how it out DPS is super effective. <laughs> it probably, uh, well, actually, it probably doesn't. Actually, I guess it maybe it does out it, DPS. It does. The, it does the same. It costs the same MP. Which one can you use more often, though? They cost the same MP. <laughs> but, but which one can you use more often on cooldown? Oh, you mean the cooldown? Not sure. What I do know. Is that I guess Mordor is kind of slower, but now we just alternate. It's crazy how strong we feel in these fights, and we're gonna show up in the White Castle and just be garbage. I appreciate like your. I, I, I always appreciate your insistence on calling everything the wrong thing. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? Have you ever been to a white castle before? <laughs> no, I actually haven't. I don't think the white castles existed where we grew up. I think they're like a New Englander thing. Is that it's, not that I, it's, not, it's not that I intentionally I, I legit don't know the name of it, so I say the closest thing I think of. <laughs> <laughs> Which is happens to be very similar, but not quite. <laughs> the white castle. Ivory Tower is what it's called. Uh... Yeah, looks like uh Horace has not made it here yet. Yeah, where the heck? We haven't seen Horace in a long time. You saw him like you three more interested in Naskin. For a ghost, he is pretty slow at getting around to places. Anyway. Is he supposed to be here? Uh, he's supposed to get here eventually. He said he'd be here. Well, he's supposed to, he, said, he, said, he said he'd go to where he died. So I guess, I, spoilers, I guess. I don't maybe, know. <laughs> maybe he's in the White Castle. <laughs> uh, yeah, that's what I remember first. I wanted to go to Yule and then I forgot where, or, or, I forgot that. And then I was like, I need to heal anyway. <laughs> All right, 
to you. Let's go. Let's go. I'm just trying to, I'm trying to work on my ad libs. Let's go. <laughs> Is that how Luigi says it? That's how Luigi says it? Yeah, in Brawl. <laughs> oh, yeah, hey, we got a Scrooge Island. Which is south, which I think is this way. Yeah. I think it's actually this one. This one is Tiny Tim. And this one is Scrooge. Oops. Oh, there Whoa. We are. Sad, chunky beast. Let's find out, shall we? Not much I like saying these names. <laughs> Ignoramus Supremus. <laughs> now this is? Celestius Primus. <laughs> what the heck? This thing's definitely weak to fire, because it's green. Is that how that works? Yes. Let's test your theory. You're correct. Yeah, you get, Parme you get Parmesan active, bro. Mark acid, if I may. Oh my god, oh, I thought that thing slapped us. <laughs> that he slapped himself? Ow. Wait, both fire spells are slow on cooldown? Oh, probably not. Well, actually, they're kind of slow. <laughs> I tell you what. I tell you what. Parmesan, Parmesan got a lot of tricks up his sleeve. I tell you what, Bobby. I'm the best wizard I've ever done see. <laughs> it was belly busted. Man, that was a big belly buster. 262? Hey, yeah, I mean, freaking Durian, Durian with ear splitter would be insane. Too bad it's not going to make the final dungeon. You're so sure about that. You know you can swap in allies, right? <laughs> what? Yeah, I, thought you that do works. That a, I thought you were doing a fam retreat. No, you don't have to do that. I mean, we can, we can swap in human allies in their <laughs> familiars. <laughs> oh my god, Wambat. That's all Dang. three bounties, and now we have to head back to where to go next, actually. We have a quest to do, and it's in Castaway Cove. Random place for that, if you really think about it. Castaway Cove, also unaffected by the banner. Did you say banner? <laughs> no. <laughs> <laughs> nice try. Nice try. No one will buy your wares. <laughs> oh, look who it is. Oh my God, it's your boy. <laughs> it's your boy. Oh, oh, sorry. Oh, hello again, sir. You made it back into the Summerlands, huh? I most certainly did. Had a hankering to visit Ding Dong Dell once more before calling time on this journey of mine. About the Battle of the Oldest Soldier, what? Uh, yeah. So did you find any interesting stuff to write about since we last saw you? Well, I'm jolly glad you asked, old boy. There was one rather hairy moment when my ship got caught in the most frightening and nasty storm. And when we finally made land, I do declare that I thought we discovered a new consulate. Consonant. You can imagine my excitement, I'm sure. Strange plants, mysterious statues, and the queerest illustrations all over the ground. Why, the mere thought of it sets my heart, old heart beating. Mm. Thought Dark Man and I died, of course. I don't suppose you care to... Oh, dear. Oh, dear me. Oh, my God. I forgot <laughs> what his, his gimmick was. <laughs> no prizes for guessing what's coming next. I've lost it! I've lost the Bali thing! My diary, it's gone! Well, well, man, who'd have flippin' thoughts? I must have left the confounded thing on that island! <clears throat> I don't suppose you'd help out a chap out and fetch it for me, would you? And then Visit Castle Cove is rather flustered. Oh. Against all expectation, it would seem he's misplaced his diary. <laughs> Notes from the fog. 
You would? Oh, jolly good show. I wouldn't want to have to rely on this dickery memory of mine when time comes to write all the old memoirs. So, where exactly did you, did you leave it? On some island, right? Statues and drawings on the ground, is it? Hmm, I can think of a couple of places. I don't suppose you remember anything else, do you? Hmm. Oh, I do recall making a diary entry while sitting on a small statue, giving the old back a break, you know. Ah, it all comes, fl comes flooding back. Yes, there's a picture of the most enormous skull on the ground nearby. Rather ghastly, if you ask me. Picture of a skull, huh? Okay, we'll go find it for you. Well, I have no idea. Time to go back to our memory. <laughs> <laughs> the only place we know with sketches on the ground. The only place you know. <laughs> yes. The only place I know. Next to a giant skull. Yeah, a statue next to a giant skull. They just stand on the birds. So, oh, actually, you know what? This is probably not going to work. This is not going to work. Yeah, I, I guess it'll probably help if we know where to go, at least. There it is. <laughs> Easily done. But now we have to actually walk there. Not sure what demon magic is preventing Tenryu from landing here in all situations, but it's working. This must be the mana at work, I'm sure. Could be the mana. Could be plot armor. <laughs> plot armor on the island? Yeah. Really, the only reason why you can't just land here before you like get into the, get into our memoria is so that you actually explore the area, so they actually give you something to do. <laughs> but after that, I don't know why you can't just can't uh, drop it out anywhere. Paleolith and <laughs> Nightcap. Nightcap's kind of cool. He had like a weird voice there. All right. Me? No, well, or Marcus indeed. <laughs> oh. <laughs> the Tabata Len. Sound like really high pitched. Maybe it was an audio bug. Perhaps. Oh, I'm glad I did that in time. Dang, we need that spell. <laughs> if only we had that spell. Wow, if only we had that <laughs> What the heck? It didn't even work. Yeah, it didn't even appear to work. Oh, has Drippy not helped us out in years? Drippy only helps you when you're in trouble. So he helped us when we fought King Tom, basically. He actually didn't help us when the Califa nearly killed us, which is interesting. <laughs> that stall is gonna hurt. Oh, God. All right. I forgot about that dance. There is the skull. So it's one of these statues then? This one. Hey look, it's that gentleman's diary. Dottery old Codger must have had a nap here and left it behind, I reckon. Well, he does seem kind of forgetful. Anyway, we should take it back to him. For the upteenth time, we got the diary back. Yay! Alright, let's get out of here. I'm eventually gonna have to come back to this area, because it looks like they, this is where you get like a lot of the late game materials for alchemy. Mm. Right, Assuming we ever alchemize ever again. <laughs> well, you are selling on the best equipment, and I think we'd want it for the fight against the White Witch. So you're playing the farm a little. Maybe, yes. You're playing the grind. That's pretty rare for you. Well, I'm not playing the grind levels. I'm probably playing to just get materials. <laughs> Which I guess I wouldn't have to kill enemies for, so I guess it counts anyway. Money would also help, because we were kind of low on that. Using Castle Code, right? Okay. Oh, do we have a... Uh, are we loaded up on Phoenixes and stuff? Uh, we have 18. It's not bad. Never gets old the, man is down, the man is down bad. <laughs> For wares to be bought. 
We found your diary, sir. Oh, spiffing. So you made it onto that singular old island, did you? Rather treacherous, what? Yeah, I guess. Try to lose your diary again, okay? Indeed not, old B. This thing's given me enough scares as it is. Now, I must simply I simply must give you some sort of reward. Ah, here you are. A diva's mantle. Do you have to oh, buy it? Oh, we almost had to buy it. That thing would cost like 30 rats. <laughs> Do we get the forty-fifth card? We do. Uh, I guess we get. I guess we give it to Pumpkin. <laughs> Why for more evasion? It's either gives a Pumpkin or a Wambat, right? <laughs> Five defense, one hundred and thirty-eight evasion. No, let's give it to Wambat. Wambat would never be hit again. <laughs> Ultimate dodge. The Wambat. Wham I mean, Wambat might not even be in the next fight. <laughs> you're, you're so sure of this. <laughs> So it's either you're, you and tell me you're gonna bench Superman. I mean, we are about to fight a super wizard, so I'm not sure how good super, Superman's gonna be for that. <laughs> we don't really have any magical uh, magic defense specialists, do we? We never we never gave any familiars like any specialization in magic defense, but a lot of them are. Yeah, well, I mean, some of them are naturally would be have some skills naturally high. Well, actually, I don't know. A Aaron might be good at magical defense. Darkness beckons. There's another one. Is that actually 10 stamps? No, that was eight. Oh, we got two as a bonus just for the thrill. Eight, that sometimes happens, yeah. Cats, kings, claws. I don't think we need more of those. Maybe we do. Yeah, they go by and get some, yeah, get some of them. Hmm. Maybe we should get Jack-O-Lantern 2, just if I do decide to actually grab for those materials. Hmm. All right. I need one more card for that, so probably not. I just realized. Oh, we, we made choices. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, our choices were definitely made. Uh, I don't know if I feel like the healing by walking is like maybe slightly more useful than you might think. I guess. But uh, more experience. I guess is also like not that useful at this point unless you plan on, gr on grinding. Yeah. I don't know, it might be useful to get Prawn up to speed, but... Prawn might just be cooked, bro. <laughs> I, I'm sure we'll get Prawn to max uh, Metamorphose by the time we're done. Trust me. I guess we could wait. For what? That is true. What are we going to be waiting for? <laughs> <laughs> I think overall, Jack Amend All is I don't know, probably more useful just to keep it kind of topped off. I don't know how frequently it works, but. We're just gonna find out. We don't do a lot of grinding, so I don't know how much experience will help. Watch it actually does restore MP, just didn't say so. That would suck. Oh. All right. Now, with all said and done, let's head into the Ivory Tower. Oh, we gotta we gotta apply some of these gems we just got. All right, I guess we're not going to the Ivory Tower yet. <laughs> we can't do them inside there. We can. I was, <laughs> whatever, it's fine. <laughs> I should know when we get there. <laughs> we definitely have to put here to put ear splitter on someone. Do we? Do we have to put ear splitter on someone? Yeah, of course. Also, I think we have to actually speak to someone in Iron Wyvern. And what is uh, Darkness Beckons? Uh, I think that it's just a dark attack that attacks everybody. Oh, yeah, that's oh, just, no, it just murders one. Enemy. Yeah, you don't need that. Okay. So this is a physical or neutral gem. Or actually, not neutral gem. I don't think you can actually learn this. Let's see. Oh, you can. Uh, that's. That's. Like, I feel like we use Toru more often. Can Toru even learn it? Oh, cool, she can. That is true, we do use Toru a lot, because he's supposed to be Oliver's, like, DPS. 
What do we replace? What trick? I think oh, she has. I don't even think she has max tricks yet. Oh, she does. We might get rid of Splish Splash for it. Or Rockabye Baby. What does Rockabye Baby do? Puts all enemies to sleep. Oh. Uh, it's like. Sleep is always like. Such a useless status effect. Because you're always going to just smack them right after. I mean, I guess it's useful if you're like. I think, trying to heal or something. I think hitting a, I think hitting a sleeping enemy guarantees a crit. We've seen that happen a couple times. Oh, that makes it a little bit better. Uh, I think you probably should get rid of Splish Splash. Probably can use this. There we go. Okay. And then what was the other one we got? Oh, we got the Cat's Claws? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's see if she can put this to use. Anybody need Cat's Claws? I guess well, uh... Nope. You think that one or... Our body blast. What's the MP difference? It's like 10 MP difference. So body blast is a lot smaller. Oh, okay. I don't think if, if Toru having a fire spell is more useful than having two physicals. I mean, we don't have any, we don't have anyone who really needs if, oh, I guess Parmesan's there for fire. And I guess all of our can also just use fire for it, too. Yeah. So you got nothing. All right. Let's talk to Marcus Hinton. Yeah, okay. Let's save first, though. Good morning, Oliver. I wanted you to know that the Empire is devoting its most advanced weaponry to assault to the assault on the White Witch's palace. Indeed, this battle will see a first deployment of the Sky Squaler, a new class of light fighter aircraft. They have been tasked with disabling the Ivor Tower, and thus allowing you to enter. Oliver. We are counting on you. must ensure that this terrible ash, this mine, is never allowed to fall again. We won't let you down, Marcuson. I've instructed my forces to commence the assault on your signal. Oops, it hit my mouse. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, well, that's a really dynamic viewpoint. <laughs> well, let me know when you are ready. Understood. Let's go. I am ready. Have you completed your preparations, all? Are you ready for the final showdown? Yes. Very well. Let the assault on the ivory tower commence. Friends, the time has come. Make ready to assault the lair of the White Witch. <laughs> Oliver. Don't worry, P. It'll work. You'll see. Now, men, cry the cannons, fire at will! <laughs> My King Tom voice is not quite right. <laughs> Absolute witch face! Ah, keep it up, boys! Hmm. Anyone else think this is a bit too easy? The thinner vehicles you're seeing are the Cloud strange. Supers, by the way. Why is no one fighting back? I'm going! Hey! Wait! I'm coming too! And so am I! But! Oh, wait for me! Hold on! Don't leave the hero behind! Is everybody ready? You're planning to fly through that hail of cannon fire, are you? Would you rather stay here? No, of course not! Wait! Do you have room for another? Because I mean to see this to the very end! Prince Marcus said? Okay, a hop on board. Splendid. We're ready, Tangri. All right, Oliver. 
Hey, it's white. Scream! Let's beat that white witch's behind. Hope the color isn't that important. <laughs> I mean, that's her name, bro. <laughs> <laughs> we also know her actual name. <laughs> The Ivory Tower, seat of the White Witch. Not a, not a very sinister looking final Will dungeon, that is it? Firepower, not a scratch on it. Just as I thought. It's invulnerable. No matter. The primary purpose of that attack was to unite our forces behind a common cause. Dang, so you just oh, lied to everybody. Really? Yes, I thought that might be the case. <laughs> you big liar. You were scared a, of your Such a waste of resources. <laughs> You're clearly hysterical. You guys. <laughs> She's waiting for us. The White Witch. Cassiopeia. It's the final battle. Defeat the White Witch and save the world. All right. <laughs> we can do a, f a fight, at least, before we call it. <laughs> oh. Mm, those robots look kind of familiar, don't they? Yes. Yeah, what the heck? Wait, what? What, what? Secret path? Oh, these are just side paths. I guess I can actually go and show this. Also, here's the heal point over here. Oh. Alright, getting in that way. I was like, do that. <laughs> Something I've, I should have been doing, but haven't been doing. <laughs> Saving? Saving at the bottom of the list, because I, I realized I guess moved to the top when I did it by mistake. Last time. Uh oh. Think of Bubba. No sign of life, by the way. Maybe not like these monsters aren't really like alive, maybe? No what? They're still recruitable, though. Here goes. <laughs> Spells going off. <laughs> that short circuit's doing work. I see. Try this too. Oh, did we apply all? Did we get put on the new armor we got? Yeah, we did. We didn't actually buy the cat, new armor. The cat claws, we uh, didn't need. Yeah. It's not too bad. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, you didn't split ears. I did. You did? I did. Oh shoot! <laughs> I must have missed that. Dang it, Prawn. You had one job. I think it's a like level 32, maybe. There it is. Sinister Sovereign. Come on! And if you want to see it. Here you go. Nice. She's all of our AoEs and short circuit. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Wait, that thing just beckoned darkness on us? No. Oh. Thanks, Prawn. We did it! Using a tier two in the final dungeon? Are you insane? Yes. Yeah, Maybe a little. Everyone's a little insane, let's be real. <laughs> Let's get a 32 and see if it metamorphoses. That'll be a nice way to end the app. Instead of <laughs> anticlimactically after one battle. Bone Baron, it's been two. <laughs> I think these guys are actually weak to storm, the Bone Barons, that is. Soul Shield. I need a lot of damage, though. <laughs> Alright, well, that's like a useful. I'm glad, I'm sorry, I'm glad Markerson agreed because he was not using it. <laughs> was not using what? Yeah, he picked up the miracle move I was about to use.
Let's pop this baby open. Which reminds me, I should probably actually use Our chest. chests. Yes. I actually didn't do that in the in the um, forest at in at Nazca when we were there. That uh. Ah. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Griffin's talents. Oh. We had a lot of claws. See if these are better. Nope. Lazy Bone just has that magic number. Has more accuracy though, but Captain Winter Tesla has not had an issue with hitting things. Also, I should I should keep a close eye around corners. Okay. Because there's a Why? certain enemy in here that tends to run away very quickly. <laughs> Soko? Yeah. Oh, shoot. I don't know if it's in this part of the castle, but I know it's in here somewhere. Imagine we finally get one. It's been a before, yeah. Well, it would be a good bookend to this whole thing if I did actually get one. That's true, but you know it won't happen. I know. Oh! Well, that sucks. We just killed something? No, we just got petrified. Oh! I don't- I didn't see- oh, I mean, it's probably the Maha Nanja that did it. Very rude. Very, very rude. Oh. That's how you know you're angry you're bringing out Garnet. It's time to stop playing games as we just miss over and over. The rare miss. Oh, Garnet just beats this. <laughs> they both just stood there and watched that happen. <laughs> they didn't bother trying to help. <laughs> I was like, dude, Garnet's, dude, Garnet's stabbing someone again. That's like getting away. <laughs> On like one experience from 32. One sixty-four. Got a chest down this way. Pop open. Celestial armor. Ooh. <laughs> wow. It reduced our accuracy by fifty. Oh, the armor does that. Oh, no wonder that fool can't hit anything. <laughs> Restores some received damage. It's actually pretty good. Hmm. For a Superman, it's probably pretty good because it only takes like one damage. Well, yeah, then he'll just restore one damage. <laughs> so I guess he takes zero damage from everything that happens. <laughs> Stay calm now. Actually, that sounds like a really good idea. I'll try not to forget about it later. <laughs> Oh my god. Toad just beat that thing. Somewhere in the 30s for sure, because it's stage two. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to continue our exploration of the Ivory Tower next time. Now that you had a taste, you'll get the full course thing. So, <laughs> actually, we, we still have to walk back, so I just want to show this too. <laughs> Since this guy decided what? to show up. This random beast. Demolisseros? So, which is like the pseudo, uh, quote unquote, pseudo legendary that we found on the uh, steps in evolution of it. Oh crap, I'm dying. <laughs> I should fix that. Ear splitter. Oh god. Oh my god. <laughs> That's rude. So rude. Ow. <laughs> oh my 
god. I saw that coming, but couldn't Storm do anything about it. This is where we wipe. <laughs> nah, we're not gonna wipe. We need Superman for sure. <laughs> this is what you Superman for? I guess that would be true. You saw that lunge? That was Wait, insane. what the <laughs> heck? <laughs> yeah, that's a pseudo legendary for you. And we got no bonus XP for that. Why do we get bonus EXP for that? Uh, we killed two pseudo legendaries, bro. It's like killing two Moltres. <laughs> Definitely not what that's like. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so like I was saying before, we're going to go ahead and properly explore the ivory tower next time. So until then, we'll see you guys later. Later.